Hi, my name is Ross Indyke, and I'm going to show you how to install MediaWiki on Ubuntu 10.04. So, first step is to download the LAMP package. So, we're going to do a sudo apt get install Apache 2. Add the root password since we're overriding uh, to super user. Um, Alright, and that's already installed on the system, so we're good there. Next, uh, we need to install my SQL server, which will be our database that will hold the content in our wiki. So we just execute that command, and that's probably already installed as well. And, yep, sure enough it is. Let's move on to our next command. And this will install PHP to our VM here. And, yep, that's already installed to the latest version. So the next command would be the following. What this command does is uh, it installs the MySQL module uh, for PHP, allowing the two to communicate with one another. And that's already uh, that command was already executed previously, so we're good there. Uh, next, we're going to uh, move to uh, configuring the media wiki source files. So go to your browser and navigate to the following uh, URL here. And if you click on this link, this will uh, download the tarball file with all the with the latest uh, version of media wiki 1.18. Uh, uh, for the sake of this uh, tutorial, we've already uh, extracted the tarball file into our downloads folder. So just briefly briefly show you uh, that so And then we'll browse or we'll list the contents of the file. And there you'll see all of the uh, source uh, files for uh, the MediaWiki uh, installation. So we'll navigate back to our home directory. And we're going to type this command here. And what this uh, does is this takes us into G Editor, um, where we're going to add a line to the Apache uh, 2 configuration file, which uh, is needed to successfully run the uh, install. So we'll just go down to the bottom of the document, and we've already added this line for uh, convenience of this tutorial here. But as you can see, we have add type application uh, slash x uh, httpd php.html. So you just add that line in there, and then you save the gEditor and exit out of that. Once you have that, you need to restart uh, the Apache 2 server for the changes uh, to take effect that you uh, just uh, added into that. Uh, configuration, uh, the Apache 2 configuration file. Oops. So we're just going to run that. 
And if all goes well, you should see an OK at the right side of your screen right here, and we do, so the server successfully uh, restarted. Next uh, is the MySQL uh, configuration. So we're going to run the uh, SQL uh, installation with this uh, following command here. So we're going to execute that. Forgot to add the underscores. You need those. And we'll execute that again. And it successfully ran that time. So now we're going to use this command, which will ensure a secure install. Execute that. Secure installation. Execute that. And you enter whatever the current root password is, or you set the current, or you just enter enter if you don't have one. Uh, since I have one, I'll enter that. Don't want to change the root password. We'll remove anonymous users. We'll disallow uh, root to login remotely because uh, we're not going to be using this uh, wiki outside of the local host. I'll remove all the gunk, any of the extra databases. And I'll reload the privilege tables. And that's that for the uh, secure installation. Now we're going to log into the MySQL uh, command line client, which will enable us to uh, create the tables and users for the database. So I'll just type in this command here. Execute that. And we enter the root password in again. And as you can see, we're now in the MySQL command line client. So we're just going to execute a few basic SQL statements here. And then now we're going to name our table. Uh, I'll name it test just for the sake of this uh, tutorial here and always remember to add your semicolon at the end when you're in the uh, MySQL command line client for the uh, command to execute properly so we're going to execute that and that's what we should be seeing so that's good now uh, we're going to create a user so we do create user I'll name him Rindy. I'm going to add, make sure to add that uh, semicolon at the end. We're going to execute that. All right. Now we're going to set the password for that user. Inside uh, the double quotes here, we put the password. Um, I'll have it be uh, foobar, I guess. And then we'll close that with the uh, semicolon, and we'll execute that. All right. Looking good so far. Now we'll uh, grant all privileges to uh, that user. Uh, Rindy that we set uh, earlier before or that we created earlier before I should say and the name of our table was test and we're going to do dot asterisk to allow them all access to tables under test uh, was it Rindy and then we have to do at local Host, since that's where we're installing our wiki on. And then Rindy at localhost is identified by the password that we specified earlier, which I created as foobar. So close that out in quotes, single quotes this time, and 
semicolon and let's execute that all right looking good and we are done with the mysql uh, command line so we are going to exit from that and next we're going to uh, create a directory for uh, our MediaWiki source files now uh, we've actually already done that but you would normally uh, enter in this command here sudo uh, make directory and we would put it in this uh, file path right here and we're just gonna name the we just name it media uh, wiki now if I try to execute this it'll say the file already exists uh, since we created it earlier but we'll uh, execute that anyway see it says file um, exists and we'll just uh, navigate that to that real quick that directory just to uh, show the uh, show that the files uh, in there do uh, in fact uh, exist and name of that is media uh, wiki and then um, whoops got to do a change directory and then media wiki all right so now we're going to list the contents of that file and as you can see this is the media wiki slash 1.18.0 that's the uh, source file that we um, extracted from the tarball earlier so we know that everything's in there and uh, if you need further clarification though we can always go into that uh, file right there and all right now we're inside and then we'll list the files in there and as you can see we have all of our configuration files right in there so we've migrated it from the downloads folder to the um, media wiki uh, folder which is now going to be our uh, parent directory so anything uh, related to the um, to our uh, media wiki wiki uh, will be located in this parent directory and if it's not already then make sure to move it or copy it there all right so next step is to uh, make sure that we add read permissions to the uh, media wiki uh, config um, file which is located in our uh, in actually the file that we're in here as you can see it's in green right now this is the media wiki uh, slash config file and we need to make sure that we have read um, permissions there so that when we execute the uh, localhost with our uh, media wiki uh, URL that it reads from that file and or that it is able to read from that file I should say um, so we need to make sure that we give it permissions so we would just execute this command here and probably don't even need to specify the path since we are already in it but we'll see and let's see what we got here it's not and there's no E in there. Let's see how that works. Alright, let's try this instead. Okay, that worked since we didn't get any error messages, so we just granted uh, read access to the mw uh, slash config file. So at this point, uh, we'd be ready to view our uh, our wiki on the local host. So we're going to navigate back to our browser, and we'll type in uh, local uh, host dot, or actually local host slash uh, media. Uh, wiki. You can also type in uh, 127.0.0.1 in place of localhost since that's the uh, default uh, IP address of your localhost. 